Damn, my dude Jeffrey just died as I was about to start recording. I was actually wondering if he could die. He's my guide. It's like a oops. He's like an NPC that's not supposed to die, I thought. Anyway. Yo, when is this night gonna be over, bro? This shit lasts like forever. How X Factor destroyed a contestant's life. Honestly, <clears throat> I'm assuming maybe the, the fame got to them or something. Or maybe like are there fees to get into that kind of thing? And what even is the difference between X Factor and an American Idol and American or America's uh what is, what is the other one? Aren't there like more singing ones too? I'm guessing X Factor is probably like any talent at all. I have no idea though. <clears throat> But I guess uh, Sunny B gonna let us know. When Zoe Alexander received four no's from the X Factor judges, her entire life fell apart over a 10 year period. Ooh, and the whole she thing got was mad, documented man. on camera from a hundred different angles. It all began with this email well, right maybe here, that's why she Zoe fucking... first reached out to the X Factor requesting to appear on the Oops. show. Oops, I'm trying to jump. She was a 22 year old pink impersonator, but wanted to audition as herself. After being accepted as a contestant, Zoe was- you know, How do people get- Famous off of being impersonators. I mean, I guess there's like a million Michael Jackson impersonators, right? But that's just always been so strange to me. Like the Drake clone and the the little dirt clone. Genuinely just got famous for looking like somebody else. How crazy is that? Like, yeah, dude. I mean, I had to work hard for where I'm at, man. Living in this huge uh, five bedroom mansion, you know, like in California. Oh, it ain't easy, but, uh, I was born looking like someone that put a lot of hard work and effort into it. And so now I'm benefiting off of that. That's just kind of weird. And then that Drake one was fucking thirsty, thirsty, right? He was like thirsty for attention. Like really, really ew, like trying to throw himself into, sp into spots. Just being like, I don't know. I remember not liking him very much. He was just really really attention hungry is what i remember but she said she wanted to do it for herself i'm guessing her life probably went to shit because she fucking went at the camera man bro she got mad mad <laughs> unless she was unless it was just like the embarrassment of it and the giving up because you're like dude i didn't even get one fucking yes or maybe it went really bad i hope they show their performance maybe she was like yeah i could sing Amazing Grace asked to send through five songs she wanted to sing, yet the X Factor then specifically demanded that Zoe audition as Pink. They wanted me to sing a Pink song. He basically oh. said that if I didn't, I would have really checked. Will I die of hypothermia? After to do so, Zoe was invited in for an interview where they continued to ask her about Pink. All he wanted to talk about was Pink. Have you seen the Pink Live? Do you know Pink's real name? Do you Ooh. think you're like Pink in real he life? He a fan Zoe fan. That they had no interest in Yo, her. I bet, I bet he probably like thought Pete Pink was fine as fuck, and he's like, bro, here's my chance to like kind of fuck Pink. I mean, it's not the real Pink, but you know what I'm saying? That's probably what's going through his mind. Personally, showing that the X Factor had an ulterior motive this to create lost a story me? out of her being Pink. Before this is still heading going out on stage, one of the X Factor producers then encouraged Zoe to give an overly emotional performance. And he said, make sure you use all of the stage. If the judges say no, beg them, cry, get down on your knees and beg. So when she'd appear in the front fuck? of the judges just a few minutes later, this is what went down. <laughs> I'm going to sing So What by Pink. Pink, okay. Off you go. After stating that she was gonna sing So What by Pink, Zoe gave a boisterous emotional performance using the whole stage with excessive facial Did they expressions. Fuck her? However, the focus on her physical delivery and a few other things which we'll talk about later meant the singing was fairly average, leading the judges to stop her mid-song before stating this. I you're generic. Honestly you're nothing. You need to go away and take the time to find yourself as an artist. Despite this, the judges were kind wow. enough to give her a second chance. Should we get a second song? Yeah. 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 I want to give you a chance. Yet she was then stopped midway through her second song before the judges once again implied that Haters. they didn't think she was good enough. Because at the moment it just sounds like every other average sort of singing voice. But as the judges explained that she wouldn't be going to the next round, Zoe turned the criticism back onto them. You told me to sing a pink song. 
Ooh, call it out. You guys told me to sing a pink song. Got him. Zoe then proceeded to lose her temper before bringing her dad onto the stage, swearing at the judges and throwing the microphone oh, toward them. Fuck. After some more chaos then went down backstage, Zoe Except lashed out at the cameraman background. ending the segment. However, in terms of negative feedback, this was really only the start. Why did he put a flame background, bro, to make it more chaotic than it really was? I mean, she really was throwing shit, though. But what a bunch of fake-ass pussies, bro. How are you going to tell her, hey, do this, and then try to act all unimpressed and cool? Like, what is this, fucking middle school bully fucking chick flick type shit? What the hell is going on here? And then that, that other girl, she was so smug. She's like, I didn't say anything. Uh, uh, liar, uh, uh, you're making this up, uh, shit was gross, bro, hold up, kinda gotta see that again, I didn't you say didn't that, think she was good enough, cause at the moment it just sounds like every other average sort of singing voice, but as the judges explained that she wouldn't be going to the next round, Zoe turned the criticism uh, back onto uh, them, hey you fucker, you to sing a pink song, I didn't want to sing a pink song. You guys told me never to, sing told a you to sing a pink song. We so we then never proceeded told to lose you. her temper before Poor bringing lioness. her down onto the stage, swearing at the judges and throwing the microphone toward them. After some more chaos then went down backstage, Zoe lashed out at the cameraman ending the segment. However, in terms this? of negative feedback, this was really only the start. The family was so distraught from the event that they drove home in silence, yet Zoe seemed convinced that they wouldn't include oh, her bitch. performance in the final cut of the show. I still didn't believe that they would show my audition on TV. I mean, how could they show the systematic They're gonna, um, leading to a breakdown of a woman? It would be too upsetting. Until about an hour after arriving home. They want that money, boy, them clicks. Who was at the audition, called the family to get a statement for an article and to tell Zoe that she was definitely going to appear on television. They will edit it in any Rip. way they can to show it on TV because it is TV gold. With this information, Zoe's mental health began to decline rapidly. I couldn't sleep. I just, I just stayed up every night. I can't stress to you enough what an emotional wreck I was. I didn't trust anyone and I just kept breaking down, crying. Made even worse by the countless articles talking about the situation before the Rip. episode had even gone live. Then, after six weeks of fear, Zoe's phone began to ring. Rated T for team. What a bunch of fuckers, bro. What the hell is this? Oh, that's a mobile game. No, it's on Steam. What the hell? I got a phone call Interesting. from the X Factor informing me that they were going to air my audition. I was honestly so terrified. I just said no and put the phone down. Within hours of the episode going live, the performance was being called the most shocking audition ever. Check while other my publications inventory. such as The Mirror called her X Factor's most shocking contestant Oops. ever. As a result of this, Zoe stated I was recognized everywhere I went. Laughed at, pointed at, threatened. Both myself and my dad have been threatened with violence to the point that my dad had to physically defend us. I'd go to the gym and people would watch the video on their phones in front of me and then whisper. Fucking assholes. Despite this, Judge Tulsi Constastavlos refused to change her attitude on is the situation. Is that real though? Stating there is always going to be the That's odd the person girl. who throws a oh mess my God. Oh, Thousands shit. of people over the years have auditioned and this one person couldn't <laughs> control their temper and threw a fit. But I don't think that's a reason for everyone to go, you've got to think Damn, about their emotions. You bitch. That was one person. Those are her issues and she chose to bring those issues to the stage. Give it she now had no other option. Damn. Zoe began to defend herself by stating that the show deliberately tried to make me out to be this girl with a bad attitude before she theorized that the X Factor deliberately encouraging her Dude, to sing that's a like pink a, song. That's like what that one girl did with the cookies. You remember that? When she was like, take a cookie or leave a cookie. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's because I died so many times right there, right? Is why it's so fucking dark and heinous right here. How do I... Oh shit. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's, that's fucked up, bro. Staging something like that. But I mean, it is TV. I think, how do I get over this? It's a plant that's throwing up. 
was part of a plan to increase I think they do that for reality TV too. performance which would explain why the, like the real world and Jersey Shore and shit in the minutes before the audition Zoe Alexander was set up for a fall and yes she couldn't sing but that isn't the issue of the discussion setting people up to mockery by deliberately enhancing their self-image beyond their talents is cruelty bordering on human rights infringement Zoe's volatile nature would have been spotted in one of the earlier auditions and then stoked up so she would outburst on TV and thereby encourage a flagging audience to tune in with the expectation of future Jerry Springer moments. Shameful, just shameful, yet others were a little less compassionate. Look, she may have been set up by producers, which isn't fair, but at the end of One the day, she can't ago? The judges were just being polite by using the identity thing as an excuse because she did get to sing a second song, which she was also rubbish at. Her violent slash physical outburst was wrong full stop. Yes, it's unfair for producers to mislead her, but her reaction was atrocious and very bratty. Also, her dad shouldn't have brought her it's like a mixture of both, I guess. Either, as this escalated the whole situation. She got to sing two songs, whereas most people get to sing one, and she wasn't good enough and of. Yet Zoe didn't stop pushing back Yo, again. You know what would have been so much better, bro? So much funnier? <clears throat> if, like, for some weirdo fucking strange out of this world reason, she, she, like, recorded them having that interaction. Maybe she was like, oh my gosh, this is really them. And like while she's recording, he didn't even realize she's recording. And he, and then he's like, hey, I fucking love pink, bro. You should play some pink for us. Dress up as pink, blah, blah, blah. And then so like while she's on stage and she's like, you told me to, you told me to do a pink song. And they're like, uh, yeah, okay, bud. And then she'd be like, whip out her phone and be like, no, look, for real, you did. And then make them look real stupid. That could have been dope. But then again, I don't know. People are just going to be like, uh, okay. What the fuck? These vultures are strong, strong. It's what had happened. Approximately seven months after the audition went live, an article was published by BBC News titled X Factor Cleared Over Pink Tribute Act Complaints, in which it was explained that Zoe had gone to the government broadcasting agency Ofcom, Whoa. claiming that the X Factor had ignored her track choices, changed her song list, and dictated her outfit and hairstyle, insisting on her appearance with her persona. Yet the agency found that the judge's comments were balanced, and her violent reaction after the audition was unacceptable by any she did like charge the camera man right <laughs> accordingly ofcom has not upheld think you could do that complaint with articles such as this one perpetuating zoe's nightmare people said to me oh don't worry it'll blow over it won't last forever and it lasted for years and years and years things became even worse when zoe's performance racked up almost a hundred million views Damn. in compilations such as these two however with comments such as i don't trust any of these after hearing zoe alexander's story it seemed there was more that was yet to be discussed on the uh -oh. 20th of july 2000 Exposed. Zoe uploaded her own video titled Zoe Alexander X Factor The Truth, in which she now revealed that the performance itself had been edited and even CGI'd to make the X Factor look good and Zoe look bad. What the fuck? She stated CGI. that judges actually began the audition by essentially insulting her. And he moved on to tell me that I was very overconfident, which wasn't shown on TV. And after she started singing, the audience went crazy by cheering. Oh. However, in oh, the shit. final cut of the show, this had been reversed, so the audience was instead cheering while the judges gave their opinions in the broadcast footage the audience reaction would they do that? completely changed the audience could be heard clapping and cheering her words as if she was voicing the opinion of the entire audience in fact the audience at that moment blueberries as a person who was in the audience we were told to keep quiet when the judges say anything so yeah you're definitely telling the truth zoe went on to explain that the music they played was right. also different to what she'd sent through the track that they made was not the track that i had sent them it was in a different key and it was a different Track. And when she'd thrown the microphone, oh, she'd done so shit. because they'd turned it off while she was explaining what had happened. Oh, damn. And that was when I threw it to the floor. But somehow in, in the video, I threw it like that. I didn't. I, I threw it to the floor. Zoe Exposed. then debunked the segment where she'd seemingly walked off and come back with her dad. I categorically did not leave the stage and subsequently return hand in hand with my father. Once again, the footage has been completely fabricated. Another example of the X Factor's over imaginative editing. Before she added that even the judge's comments had been inserted at a later date. Also, Nicole did not stand up and say, no, baby, no, that did not happen. So they were cut in afterwards to produce the footage in their fictitious storyline. After heading backstage, another scene was filmed in which Zoe begged the cameraman to How stop filming. How do I drop this? However, this also didn't make the cut. I, I was saying, please, please stop filming me. Please stop filming me. This scene 
scene was cut from the broadcast footage and replaced with even more fabricated footage, which better suited their storyline, as it didn't portray me as aggressive. The real footage would have clearly demonstrated the broken and emotional state oh, you fucker. I have been bullied. And with this information, everybody began to stand up for her. I admit I was one of the many who laughed and thought you were this crazy lady who was just mad that you lost the audition. I'm so sorry they're so horrible for doing you like this, with others informing Zoe that her video had blown Damn. up outside of YouTube. Over on TikTok, a relatively small account made a 15 million view video Ooh. where talking about what had happened, which when duetted by Zoe... Bro, imagine like posting a video one day just talking about some shit, right? Like normally you get like 5, maybe 10, maybe 30 views, right? Maybe like... Maybe, maybe, whoa, this video, or this TikTok got 50 views. That's crazy. Wow, my TikTok got 100 views. Wow. 800 views. Whoa, who are these people? But then you go to sleep one day, right? Like, you post a video, you're like, ah, eh, whatever. Like, my biggest fucking you video ever made, like. My biggest video I've dropped made, like. 800 views right which is a fucking lot and then say like you make a video right you go to sleep you wake up 10 million views or like 15 million views be i'd be like wow should have uh cleaned that pimple you got there <laughs> should have uh worn a better shirt that day i think i should have uh groomed myself better that day now that that'd be wild though. That's gotta be crazy, like just going viral. But damn, imagine like, imagine being called crazy and fucking all these people are laughing at you, making fun of you for ten whole years, right? Or even maybe over ten whole years. And then one day, finally, just it just all comes to light, and it's like, oh, you weren't lying. You would, like you were right. Blah blah blah. I feel like that's that's kind of like, I mean, it's way different, but. Imagine people that get like wrongfully fucking arrested and like wrongfully taken to jail, you know? Fucking serving like a 20 year sentence, 40 year sentence for something that they did not do. Bruh. And everyone just looks at you as like, you know, crazy because the original person made you look, made you look crazy. It's crazy, man. It's fucking eyeballs chasing me, huh? I'm dead, skis. I'm dead. Gained a further 27 million views, with almost Damn. everybody sticking up for Zoe. As a result, Nicole Scherzinger's what comment section stars do? began to fill with comments regarding Zoe's treatment, and therefore the judge did this. Can we just talk about the fact that Nicole Scherzinger has blocked me on TikTok? Despite this, the mainstream media ran with the story, causing the X Factor to backpedal rapidly. You have made the X Factor turn off their Instagram comments. You have oh. made the X Factor turn off their YouTube comments. That's crazy. And you have made the X Factor change the title and description of my X Factor audition video. With a 19 million view audition video having since been removed altogether. On top of this, Zoe's appearance has also been taken Why do out they of the mega viral know? top five angriest contestants video, which when considering Zoe's poor attitude and the show's sketchy editing, feels like a reasonable middle ground between the two parties. Hey man, she got her justice. They deserve a lot worse than that. I feel like their fucking show should tank for that shit. Cause I mean, she I doubt she is the only one. Damn, that's gonna be annoying. But I was gonna say, these fucking zombies, man, and these slimes, they always know when you're gonna actually jump over them. I try to fake it sometimes, and they don't jump. But then whenever I actually go for it, they're fucking they're smart, man. They know what the they know what the fuck's going on. Nah, but that's actually wild though that she actually got the truth out there. I wonder how like someone finally believed her. Like, what was the proof that she finally gave? Good thing they did though. Oh, you bitch! Uh, I had him, bro. I could have walked under him. Damn, making you look crazy, right? And then you see all the edits too. They really CGI'd her. They fucking put uh, laugh tracks after and. Made her look like a fool, man. Imagine being her. Well, I mean, she had to actually do it, but like going home and seeing it all changed from what it actually was. Like it already probably looked bad enough. But seeing it like edited like that. 
Oh, no wonder. She must have been fucking furious, man. And then you got the whole internet laughing at her, making fun of her. Like, uh, poor girl. I think, uh, I think they found out the truth, man. The internet can be good sometimes. I heard that the internet got, like, upset that there was a... Uh, I'm just trying to get past you, fool. I don't know what to do at nighttime. Well, I do. I gotta burrow myself. No, but I heard that the internet was just tro uh, trying to troll some... Some person... Oh, shit. I spawned right on, right on you, huh? Crazy. That's so crazy to me. I heard that the internet was trying to bully some girl because she, like was too happy at her job or something and so and so people were kind of like trying to goof on her because they're like oh this is a uh, what too much disney does to you or something like that and people were just hating for no reason and then people other people were just like bro what the fuck are you hating on bro like go somewhere with that shit you're dumb like you're petty look at you and then they start diving into the post the original posters uh it. I thought that was neat. The internet does some good sometimes. How do I get past a zombie? 